Well hello and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm going to give you a tutorial on how to stack and fill a cake. So this is a tutorial and some tips and tricks. So obviously to stack and fill a cake you're going to need a few things. You're going to need your icing. I'm using a traditional American buttercream for this. Then I'm also using a my fudgy sauce as a filling. Um, you don't have to use a filling or you can just use regular icing. You'll need a cake board, you'll need a knife to cut your cake, and I use um, these little cake levelers to keep the knife level so you get a nice clean cut. And obviously, you'll need cake. So first you're going to want to take your cake. Um, I had baked this ahead and wrapped it in saran wrap to keep it all the moisture locked in and everything. So you're just going to want to slice that cake in half so you can have four layers. You don't have to do this step if you don't want to. You can just make it a two layer cake and just stack both layers on top of each other. Then you're gonna put a little dollop of your buttercream on your cake board to help your cake stick to the cake board. Um, you will notice when I start putting the cake on that I'm a little off center, but that was done on purpose for the specific cake that I was doing. So you put your first layer down and then you're going to put your icing, a ring of icing down if you're putting a filling in. If you're just using your regular icing, you can just put a dollop on and spread it or you can take a piping bag full of icing and do a ring and fill it in. If you're doing a filling, once you have your ring of icing done, then you put your filling in and just make it nice and smooth. Obviously, if you're just doing the buttercream or your icing and no filling, then you would do the same thing with your icing. Just make it nice and smoothed out. And then you're just going to repeat this for each layer that you have with your cake. Obviously, if you're doing two layers, you're just going to have one filling in the middle. Um, I did four, so that's going to be three fillings. While you're stacking your cakes, you're going to want to keep an eye and make sure that you're getting them as straight as possible. Obviously, sometimes the way the cake bakes and everything, you'll have little bits that don't make it perfectly line up, that which can be filled and smoothed with icing, so that's not a big deal. But obviously, you don't want your cake to start leaning all the way to the left or the right or anything, so try to make it as straight as possible. Once you have your cake all stacked and filled, then you're gonna go ahead and crumb coat it, which a crumb coat is just a thin layer of icing that's gonna lock all the crumbs in your cake so when you put the final layer of icing, you don't have little bits of crumbs in your icing that you see through. So with your crumb coat, you are still gonna wanna try to make sure that you make it nice and smooth and everything because that could add to bumps later or cause problems in your final coating but it isn't something that you have to have absolutely 100% perfect like you can still see a little bit of cake sticking through on little pieces that's not a big deal but you want to just make sure that you have your cake nice and straight and try to keep like your top and your sides straight so you, it's less you have to fix with your final coat once you have your crumb coat done you're going to go ahead and pop this in your fridge or freezer. Um, I usually typically like to pop mine in the freezer for about 15-20 minutes before I do my final coat of icing. Once you go to do your final coating of icing, you can again use a piping bag and get your icing on that way or you can just scoop it on like I did on this cake. I have done it both ways can't really say I have a preference one way or the other. I think it just ends up being what I feel like doing that day. So obviously once you get all your sides icing, you're going to want to smooth that out as quickly as best as possible. Um, you're going to want to use your spatula or I like to use my spatula and then finish off with a cake scraper. When you're using a cake scraper, you're going to want to make sure that the bottom piece stays flat against the cake board because if it's not flat and you don't even realize you're starting to hold it at a slight angle, that will start to angle your sides on your cake and could make for kind of a funny looking cake. Once you've gone over and started smoothing, if you notice any areas, just go ahead and fill those in with some more icing and then you're just going to go over with the cake scraper again to smooth that side out. 
if for some reason, even with the final coat of icing, you still have a little bit of cake coming through, what you can do is you can go back to that section and kind of scrape that little bit of cake that seems to be sticking out. You can just scrape that off so your cake is level with the rest of it and then fill it back in with icing and smooth that. Then you're going to want to take a large offset spatula to smooth in the top. I go from the outsides and pull in towards the middle. Um, you can also put it back in the fridge or freezer and get it nice and chilled and then just take an X-Acto and cut the little edges that stick up on your top. Like with most things, once you start trying these things, you're going to find what you're comfortable with and or you can just keep practicing and make yourself more comfortable with things but you'll find the rhythm that fits you because obviously you can go on to youtube or the internet and you can search up you know how to fill and stack a cake and you're going to find a bunch of different people doing it many different ways so you'll find what works best for you so now that you have your sides and your top all nice and smooth you are ready to decorate um, you could always leave a cake like this, or you can add a nice little border around the bottom and the top, um, or if you're going to put fondant, you're ready to put fondant on, um, or if you're going to add a drip, whatever decorations, you are good to go now. So this is just a quick tutorial on how to um, stack and fill a cake. I hope you liked it. If you did, please hit that like button, and again, if you're not subscribed, please hit that subscribe button so you never miss an upload. And also every like, comment, and subscribe helps support the channel so I can keep getting out these tutorials and recipes. I'll see you in the next video. And as always, live, love, eat sweets.